And there we go. We're into the finals of the lower tier of the first Crafting Stars series. And in the, let's say, 7 o'clock position here, Alanushka from Team The Sons of Odin. Here in the top right, we have Kuktrommel from Team Solid, right? Team Solid, that's right. Uh, Team Solid has been a solid presence in the DSTL since I think the very beginning. Pretty cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, people in the chat being like, is Kuktrommel still only building battle cruisers? But apparently, people say, no, 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 he's doing something different now, so. Okay, so Kuktromo was going gas before barracks, which is something you do not see often, actually. So he might go for some early Reapers or something like that. Hmm, I can't really... I can't talk in-game, apparently I'm not a referee, but uh, yes, it is best of three. <laughs> Alanushka is in the party, so he should know. Anushka went for a hedge first into gas into a pool. Okay. So the game is pretty standard right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, I forgot to check which leagues these players are in. I mean, they can be Platinum League at the um, size, but... Yeah. Have you seen um, Kuktrommel is Platinum and an uh, Anushka is uh, Gold. Gold League, cool. Alright, yes. nice. There you see people, even if you're in Gold League and... You know, Possibly even Bronze League. You could make it to the finals of a tournament. But I'm not sure if a Bronze League player would make it to the finals. So. Okay, so Kukrom went for a quick factory with that early gas that he got. And he's going for a director now, so I think he'll be going up to Hellions. And he's going for an expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty safe. Uh, would you call this in-base expansion? Was well, like a backdoor expansion, so it's. Uh... Mm -hmm. And he will be switching out factory for the reactor, of course. Going for double helium production. And uh, Anushka is going for a pain in us. So the thing with this is, it can feed hellions, but you need a good pain in it on them or a surround with the Strucklings. He's going to another factory. Very interesting. Uh, another factory, yeah. So it's not going to be the battle cruiser Bonanza. <laughs> it might be going to Mac, which is something we you do not see often. I haven't casted Mac before. Ooh, like so Mac in uh, Legacy of the Void is mostly dead at the moment. You're, yeah, yeah. In the chat, people saying he's playing pretty solid. Uh, but also, <laughs> uh, someone predicting that he's going to play Mech plus Liberators. Ah. I mean, Liberators oh. are firmly within uh, the, the scope of what Mech play is, right? So, definitely. He might can, don't have the chance for that because Onuska is going for a Bane and Bust. And, okay, here are the oh. Hellions, but they do not see the Bane Nope. They don't even see the Circlins. They see might be out of position all the way. Oh God. Uh, yeah, this, uh, hmm. If he, but Anushka needs to go fast before the tank gets out and gets into siege position because one or two siege tank shots can just shut this down easily. Yeah. Uh, th do you think Anushka will be triggered if uh, if he gets the Hellions in his in his main base? He already has some circles in place, but they don't oh, get the surround, so they don't get the surround. But maybe Kukdom is wondering where all the defenses are, and oh, oh. there they are. They're at his. The at his tank front. is not siege. The tank is not siege. But the bailings are doing nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh now oh, it's wow. only only one bailing left, and it blows up on the tank. Uh, so if the tank unseizes, it can deal but with it. But that's one circling. circling. He's oh. in the dead zone. Like the tank can do anything. He needs to siege. Uh, okay, so this is pretty sweet for Kuktrommel. <laughs> he held off the 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 push without any basically negative effects. Uh, he still has three Hellions alive on the other side of the map, and four drones were killed. But I'm uh, not. Was it the Hellions that did that? Yeah, this yeah, is the I think, so. I think so. I have many kills. Lots of Zerglings. So Anushka is going for our third base, and he's going for Burrow. Very interesting. Uh, Burrow. That's an upgrade we don't see very much, but I think it's very useful. 
Mm -hmm. You might just like burrow some banian bombs across the map or something like yep. that. Or just go for burrowed roaches. But now uh, Kutromar has time to care up for his mech. Which he is definitely going for. Awesome. Okay, like so someone is yeah. There's a go. Is, this is going to be what the, where the liberators will start coming from. Yes. Let's see. So far, no. Or you will we make med effects maybe for the sea strings to lift them up. Yes, that is also very likely. I mean, flying siege tanks is really something that you want to take advantage of. I mean, as long as you can fly siege tanks around. But it will be liberators first. But it's so strange to see yeah. mech. It like really happens. Like in pro plays, you have Lilikanin who plays a lot of mech, and a few other players who try it sometimes. But it's basically not viable in Legacy of the Void since it's too slow for the heavier rest gameplay that is that it is at the moment. I saw, like I said, I, I have been watching a little bit of GSL, and I think I see, I saw maybe Keen or Journey in that matchup. Someone, someone going mech in a TVT. Uh, I think that might be Journey. He yeah. uh, goes Mac sometimes. Okay. Okay, so Anushka has his Spider on the way, which will be okay against Liberators in the early game, but once they start to mess up, the Mutalisk will not be countering it anymore, so then you need a lot of Corruptors. It's the uh, the Liberators, of course, do have anti air uh, missiles, and they do splash damage, right? Yeah, they do splash damage. That's the dangerous part when you are playing Mutalisk. If you stack them up, they just die in like four shots, all of them. Hellions going off very far on creep, but then deciding to maybe kill off some creep troopers first. A wise yeah. decision. And Alanuska is not responding to this in any way. And now he goes. Oh, he's responding by not responding. <laughs> and now he gets one Hellion. Yeah. Which is something for his trouble. Well, creep troopers are free, Hellions are not, so. There you go. Yeah. And we keep making siege tanks and liberators. Was this unseaged siege tanks? You don't see that very often in Legacy of the Void. <laughs> and he has blue flame on the way, and he's making missile turns, so that's Whoa, probably against the. Uh, lose a lot of Hellions, though. Oh. Wow, got a little nibble off the uh, the Hellion stack there. Building up towards mm -hmm. a giant mech army. You think he's gonna just wait until he's maxed and then attack off three bases? <laughs> he might uh, be doing that, or he's going for a fort, or just wait up. And the uh, guy is going for Mutalisk at the moment with plus one upgrades. But uh, Kukdrama already has missile swords in place, he's making more liberators. I think he will be ready for this. Mutal is going off to the side, going for, going to be going across the map. We don't see the Liberators uh, going across the map for some harassment so far, so maybe he just wants to keep them with his army. Yeah, that was the thing I was wondering also, why he wouldn't go across the map, but... Anushka was already ready for that, so it didn't matter anyway. Mm hmm. Mm, the Liberator count is still low, 4 at the moment, but... If the Mutalisks don't watch out, they can die very easily. There's a blue flare. Lots of damage on Zergen here, but the Hellions oh. do get cleaned up though. Yeah, that was a good surround. Yeah. Even though they were blue flame, now the um, Mutas here come into play. There is a missile turret it's... there, so if there's a quick repair, then... If uh, there is a quick repair... Ooh, just in time. Very nice. Just in time. He already awesome. lost two Mutalisks there. That was... Right online wow. for that. Clutch move by Kuktomo. Mm -hmm. And he's scaring off the Mutas with the uh, the, the flock of uh, Liberators that he's building up here. Indeed. He's getting plus two for his mech. And now he's got uh, all the Siege Tank in the, backs, in the back. Get to the he front! He's making more misters, he's still scared of those uh, Mutalis. Mm -hmm. And a fortified position with a fourth base. I gotta say, Kukto is looking very solid. Yeah, he's looking very solid at the moment. Like, his army is just getting powerful and powerful. And Anushka is... He's on four bases also, but... You don't want to be a four base Zerg against a four base Terran. 
like with Turkey, I just want to be one base ahead. Uh, and even, even aggressively trying to expand to a fifth base, but uh, you, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, those aliens aren't going to do anything to defend, of course. <laughs> Here come the Liberators. I don't know if they can take these amount of mutas. Unless the... yeah. Actually, I don't have any... I wouldn't know either. <laughs> I, I would... I think the mutas would take it. Mm, it depends. If the mutas stack up, they will uh, die easily. But if they get split okay. just a bit, then uh, I think they will win the fight. But he's already making three Liberators at the time at the moment. He's getting the... Like the offense ballistics, so that the uh, liberators have more ra range while in ground mode. <laughs> and Alnushka is going to the back of the base again. Takes out a missile turret. The second one is getting repaired now, so Muras yes. falling. Wow, it was like that middle missile turret was focusing on the, the, the low health Muras. And here's the liberators, chase them away. Alright. Um, uh, fourth base for Alnushka up as well. Uh, but so there's five now for Kuktrom also. Man, Kuktrom is yeah. very hard not to crack. Usually for a turtling style player, you'd have less bases than your opponent. But now it seems like Kuktrom is out expanding Alanushka. Like you said, that spells doom for the uh, for the Zerg. Alanushka needs to make something happen. Yeah, and like he and uh, Kuktrom is already starting to build a bank. He's supply blocked at the moment, but he can start to spend his money and get max very easy. Is it gonna be some? Uh, oh. Four. The Hellions. Good thing there were only six drones there. Yeah. Here are the Mutalists. Going to chase them down. Lots of Mutalists now, actually. Yeah, I think that's a bit scary because Kukutron is still going for more Liberators. And if they take a bad fight, uh. they just die in two seconds. Mm. Like, he should go for some Corruptors, I think. Yeah. He's Corruptors going definitely more fight. sturdy, yeah. But Corruptor more a single purpose. I mean, if these were Jadong Mutalisks, he could definitely <laughs> win. Exactly. But Kukron was moving out now with his army. Wow. I think giant move out. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. I, I don't think that Anushka can win. No, this is a really. Yeah, Anushka is attacking the fifth base, but you know, to no avail. There's missile turrets there. What does Kukron do? Is he trying to cut off the Mutalisks? Mutalisks? I don't think that will work. He's, he's going through a very narrow. Choke here, which is uh, nice for him. Hell, bad sea stank and uh, a bunch of liberators. This army is so scary. What you got? Hydralisks? Not he... anymore. <laughs> He's got to be careful. If he scans and there's uh, creep tumors right under his tanks, then uh, the other tanks might friendly fire kill them. But uh, like you said, this this is what we call mech play: sieging up, um, killing your opponent with a very very strong army. Oh, the Mutalisk, they watch that. They tried to pick up a sea tank, but only got one. But Ooh. here are the Liberators. Oh, that oh. splash damage is like, it's very dangerous. Yeah, they need to stay away from that. Fair. I think uh, <laughs> we're watching a very, very slow choke death. Oh my god, look at this, the amount of splash oh. damage on these overlords. Yes, exactly. In come the Mutalisk. Oh, look at this, the Mutalisk oh. are killing many tanks though. But look at this, the splash! Oh my! Oh! oh. <laughs> uh. That got like half of the mutas. Uh, that stuff. He did pick up a few siege tanks. He's trying to do to do this right. Pick up the siege tanks and then go with the rest of his army. But <laughs> it will be so tough. All right, for the people tuning in just now, you're watching the finals of the lower tier of the first Crafting Star series, where Dutch players go head to head, and this is the uh, the bronze to platinum here and we see the finals between Kuktrommel from Team Solid and Alanushka, a son of Odin. Uh, but Alanushka just losing all of his mutas there basically. But and he has Ultralisk on the way. Choke hold. Ultralisks, can they turn yes. the tide? Nine of them Probably. actually. That's, that's a significant amount. Holy shit. Do they have the uh, the kiteness plating upgrade yet? No, yet, but he did start it. But Ooh, God, uh, look he's at going this. to engage. Holy up. shit. The freedom zones. These Ultras. Where they are they going? So much They're melting. They're, oh my, I gotta say though, that's a lot of damage. He does not have enough ground army and Holy he can't hell. keep chasing them with the Liberator zones. Whoa. Like suddenly and Anushka turned it around even when the <laughs> others were not that good upgraded. Holy shit. This is and, uh this is a significant turnaround. I did not expect wow. to see this. <laughs> and now Cooks from all he has a good liberator count, but he still needs to kill the Ultras. <laughs> this game! 
Oh, but without uh, extra armor upgrades, the ultras just melt so easily. And right. he has every base on his side of the map, Cook Trommel. Yeah. So we gotta ask, is Cook Trommel going to uh, push again now that he's cleared all the ultralisks? Uh, or is he going to max out again and only then push out once he gets eight? <laughs> he, wants, he, he wants to stick to the true mech style. Many more ultralisks, by the way, here. In yeah, the I'm just gonna now have to guide to this plating upgrade, so ah. they will have more armor, and he has plus two on the way for them, too. I did not expect the game to be here. I, I expected it to be over by now, actually. So Me neither. Good on Elanushka here. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, he... Like, if... If Kukdrum will just... Fight a bit... If he went in a bit earlier, then he would have won, I think. Ooh, those freedom zones. They hurt so much. Uh, but this is killing a lot of his army. Yeah. Oh. Here are the Hydralis who are... Uh -huh. Ooh, these Hydra's taking out a nice bunch of Liberators there, but still... But he needs to pull back, like he lost all his Ultras. I gotta say, Alnushka is re-expanding though, so if Kukturma gives him enough time, uh, he can come back into this game, but if Kukturma pushes now... Well, Alnushka's army is a good 40 supply less than that of Kukturma. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Kukturma has a good chance of defeating him, I think. Few turrets in the middle too. Ooh, they got picked off. Yup. Blop, blop, blop. See the ultralisks. And oh, these Ooh, things here. Tanks. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So okay, so these are not moves that Kukulma needs to make if he wants to close this game. He keeps leading units. Like, he gives them away for free. But the idol is scared. Yeah, uh, idol is moving into the liberation zones. Yeah, they get picked off. And the ultra too, wow. I think. Yes. The amount of damage from these uh, liberators is uh, oh. sickening. How, uh, how are we doing in terms of upgrades? So it's a uh, weapon upgrade level 3 for Kukdrommel. That's uh, pretty significant. So it, wait, the liberators, the, their ground attack, is that air, air attack or uh, uh, ground attack? I think they benefit only from air upgrades. Air upgrades, okay. Okay, so really? for now... Uh, the more you know, huh? Kukdrum has plus 3 for his uh, mech units, plus 2 for his air, plus 1 armor, and meanwhile, uh, Anushka has plus 2, plus 2 for his ground units. Uh -huh. We see, uh, is that Yamato gun upgrade coming up? Oh, he's going battle cruisers. Holy shit! <laughs> Kukdrum <Kukutomo> harp! <laughs> nice. I hope we're gonna get to see it in action though. Here we go, another attack. Ultra is doing so much damage, but in these liberation zones, uh, nothing can survive for a very long yeah. time. Not even Chitinous Blading Ultra Disc. And they're actually in GG! Wow. There we go. Oh, Kukdromo <laughs> gets the first win. That was uh, pretty impressive. Too bad we didn't see, yeah, see the uh, Yamato guns. Maybe next game. Nice. Gotta <laughs> get back. Alright. Oh, God, Jordy. Good stuff. I'm glad, to, I, I'm glad that we got to see this finals as well. Uh -huh. I thought he would be dead earlier, but <laughs> the game went on for like eight more minutes. <laughs> Guys, I really want a cookie. Someone donate a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I think I need to restart my star card pretty quick because it's working very slow. Alright, cool. So I will do that really fast. Yep. Uh -huh. God. Some amazing engagements there. I'm uh, curious to see what the chat thinks of the engagements once they get, once they get to it. <laughs> yeah, one or two. There we go. So, one of these players will win an awesome DSL badge, which I'm now showing to the stream. Uh, which I can also put up like that. The other will win a DSL t-shirt. Of course, in the future, we're going to have lots of sponsors again. And uh, we're going to have even cooler prizes uh, for these Crafting Star series. That is the, the plan, guys. And there we go. This is uh, what the t-shirts look, what it looks like in action, if you're wearing it. Nice. Uh, okay, let's see. Wow, my computer really hates me uh, this oh, evening. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's going very slow, but 
Hopefully in one or two minutes. Ah, okay, now it works. Great. Okay. Okay, start StarCraft again. Alright, yeah, the lobby is all set up. The map that Alanushka has chosen for game number two is Lerlac Crest. Oh, okay. As you say. It's choosing the Zerg favorite map. Lerlac. Zerg favorite, yeah? Okay, so. Yeah. Because the map is very open, it's very good for Zergs. Although, uh, Terrans can have a good time with siege tanks on the map too. Alright, cool. Curious to see the game. After this, I'm gonna yeah, eat me cookie, too. By the way, <laughs> and contact the winners, of course, to send them their prizes. And uh, of course, after this, we have to gotta make uh, we have to make the uh, the general rankings. We have to dish out some points for people playing tonight. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. The winner of this will get 32 points, I think, and the loser, I think, 20 24 points. Not exactly sure. It's in the rules, of course. If you go to dscl.nl <laughs> Slash rules, it's right there. Uh, there we go. I think we're all here, right? Yes, we are. Yes, I think everybody's here. I'm in the lobby too. My computer finally started to agree with me, so he wants to see some StarCraft too. Here we go, game number two coming up. Hell yeah. I wonder if he will be going Mac again. I would love to see that, actually. Uh -huh. Yes, Lerlac Crest. Alright, I'm gonna... Woo, people are following us. Paula awesome. Tradis and StarCraft 2 Fool. <laughs> All right, jumping into the game right now. Alanushka, Kuktromo. Alan, Kuktromo's up one game. Should fix that. Wait, maybe I should click start <laughs> first. There we go. Good luck. Have fun, my friend. He <laughs> says. Uh, in the top right position of the map, it is Kuktromo, our Terran player, owning it up, building battle cruises already. And here in the bottom right, we have Alanushka. Yes. Asking for no more liberators. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna have to disappoint you there because it's going to be raining liberators today. Oh, it's <laughs> just, <laughs> just a Hawan direct bat battle cruisers Russian. <laughs> Shit, I, I can't do this. I can't be a Dutch person impersonating a Dutch accent <laughs> from an Englishman or an American. <laughs> All right, secret strategy from Kutromo coming up, rushing to battle cruisers. I want to <laughs> see that. Yeah, I would love to see that. Damn, production tab. I keep forgetting production tab. All right, guys, I promise next time for Crowd Star Series, we're going to have a different observer interface because I don't like this WCS interface. <laughs> I want to have more of the game hard style, like the other one with the production tab top left. That's better. Okay, let's see. There's not much going on yet. Like, uh, Lunuska is expanding and going for gas before pool. And Kuktromo is going to expand already. Like, last time he went for an early factory, but this time he's mixing it up. Yeah, but you need uh, lots of uh, you know, resources if you want to start building battle crews right away, right? So, makes <laughs> sense to expand for him. Exactly. He's already making a bunker, so I think he's faced from some certain pressure or anything like that. So for now, it's going very well for him. And Anuska scouts his position with the Overlord. But he might lose it if he does not go away now. Ooh, yeah. There's gonna be another two Marines. That's a. Yes, uh. He'll definitely yeah. lose it. There's a dead Overlord. Dead Overlord flying. Right there. And meanwhile, Anushka is already going for the third base and going for circling speed. Yep. Oh, and Kuktural third base also so greedy. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> He's going for the battle cruisers. He wants it. 
Anushka better do something about this because, uh, yeah. Right, but mm -hmm. as far as tech structure is concerned, not a lot going on here. So there's. No, no, that's. Is that an engineering bay? Okay, so that's an engineering yeah. bay. And that's the only. That, so the only unit producing structure so far is one barracks. Yeah, one barracks. Is this a, like, has... is this a strategy? It is, but I mean, what is this? I d I don't even know. Like I play some Terran off race sometimes, but uh, I did not see this before. <laughs> Anushka's going for a few circlings. He probably try will try to pressure with this once speed is done. But he's going back into droning already. Oh, he's going for planetary forces at his natural. <laughs> Yo, I oh, thought okay. I thought this. I thought maybe it's going to be a defensive planetary forces. But I thought ah, that's too silly. I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> oh, but, I was hoping for the offensive planetary forces. <laughs> just fly it over there and make it into a planetary. But this right. is make it double planetary. Wow. Okay. This is something different. It looks like he really wants to be turtling so hard that he has all the freedom. Look at this! It's, okay, this is... <laughs> I, have ne I have never seen this hard of a turtle. This is really Four cool. Four missile turrets on the side. Yep. Two planetary forces, a bunker. This is going to be wow. a long one. Like, he started his upgrade so... What, is that high-sec auto-tracking? He started high-sec yes. auto-tracking! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, oh, this is amazing. This is an amazing game. <laughs> Finally, the factory... <laughs> Meanwhile, Anushka is going for a bailing S. I don't think he can bang bust it. Uh, he's going double evolution chamber as well, so maybe he's like, okay, it's gonna be a long game. Double evolution chamber. Let's get mm -hmm. the upgrades going. I think he should just go for the fourth base now. Then he could go I mean, very far ahead. There is nothing coming out of Kuktomo for the next at least 10 minutes, right? So it, you're right. If you're Alanushka, how about just taking three or four more bases and. Going all uh -huh. out. Holy shit! Do you, do, you, do you think Cook yep. almost has plans for a third? I'm not sure actually. I was already looking for that, but he just making the CVs. I thought that like that second command center would be for the third, but <laughs> access denied. Huh. Okay, let's see. Um... Okay, so Alanushka is scouting, right? He's checking. Is my opponent taking? Oh, he's here? going double uh, starport. There are battle cruisers coming. I told you, man. This this has got to be battle cruisers. Okay, I'm. I'm I, there we go. There we go. Yep, there it is. Fusion. Oh yes, up. the battle cruisers. Yes. Oh my God! I see someone in the chat. Looking at this game from two minutes ago, going, dudes, this is the Battle Cruiser strat. Watch this, he's going defense. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yes. I want to see this. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Really good stuff. Okay, meanwhile, Anushka's going for the Spire, but he shouldn't make Corruptors, I think. Uh, he is making not enough bases. Needs more bases. Yeah. What do you need against a whole lot of Battle Cruisers? <laughs> I mean, Mass Corruptor, I think. Yeah, so corrupt or mess Hydra. Yeah, yeah. Depending on how good of an engagement, I mean, the corruptors seem the more safer option. But uh, and um, yeah, any other? T okay, so <laughs> any other? Oh, look at this! A changeling got dropped inside the main for Kutol. So Both he does got. He knows it's coming now. Yeah, he knows it's coming. Meanwhile, it's, uh, he's trying to get the third command center. Everything got scouted. So this, so okay, we're gonna have to see what Alanushka's move is now. He knows there's. Oh look at this! Like, oh, I love the sight of this. Just four. <laughs> oh, this will be so good. Four star ports there. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alanushka scouting every corner of the map to see if there's any other expansions. <laughs> Eat my Overlord poo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So no third for uh, Al for uh -huh. almost yet. I think, of course, Alanushka is going to try his best to prevent this from happening. He's making 50 Mutalisk. 50 Mutalisks. That should be Corruptors, I think. I think that's the wrong choice of units. Alright, but there's not going to be many Battlecruisers out before the Mutas hit. Well, still, it's going to be probably two Battlecruisers. 
Yeah, that's a good point. If he can snipe some more before it gets to too many, he can easily win. But how many? Okay, he's uh, he's got lots of command centers. Building more planetaries, probably. Yeah, that's exactly what I think. Yes. Was... Oh, oh, here come wow. the mutas. Here come the mutas. But they might snipe this battle yeah, cruiser. Yeah, they're gonna get this yeah. one battle cruiser. There it goes. No, the battle cruiser. Battle cruiser. I think the visitors ah. will not be up on time. Whoa! Look at this. Battle cruiser escaped. Oh, I was wrong. The bootless car working well, but you should just snipe the missile turrets and oh no, more battle cruisers. Okay, I think that was Alanushka's shot, and that's it. The game is done yeah. now. The game I is over. Kuktolmo has won. <laughs> but maybe like last time, he hold on longer, longer too. But <laughs> someone in the chat's like, "What in the actual fuck is going on?" <laughs> <laughs> Really cool. What the actual is going on is that the finals were lower tier. This which is, is amazing so far. The lower tier final. I want to cast these finals every time. If this is if this is how they're going to be. This is <laughs> this is so much fun to watch. Okay, why is Alanuska still only on four bases? Why hasn't he taken the entire map by now? Yeah, he should take just take more bases. He has a lot of money. He should take every base on the map. Uh -huh. He has the minerals for it. And, and he still, needs more gas anyway. Kuktolmo is expanding as well, right? He's still kind of out expanding Alanushka. If we, oh, there we go. Fifth base for fifth, fifth base for Alanushka. Yep. He took my advice. <laughs> like, I'm looking at this uh, fourth base, like being constructed, and the first thing I see is like missile turrets going up all around it. Yeah. yeah I see now too. But and he throws two commands at the spur expansion, <laughs> <laughs> just in case one gets sniped. Okay, there's uh -huh. two armories on the way. We're gonna see some air upgrades, I, I'm feeling. Oh, there we yeah. go, that's an attack. Mutalisks swarming in. Oh, wow. Taking out this. Okay, so these are gonna be some. One more. Oh. He should just go for it, I think. Just go for that one missile before the battle cruisers get to you, because they're yeah. so slow. Here come the battle cruisers. Like, he can kill that one plan there for us, but it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, your yeah, motto cannons. cannons have already finished upgrading. Oh my god. I think uh, that Anushka wants to go up to Ultranisk eventually because he's uh, keep making uh, melee upgrades Here while he's messing with the pit. That's a requirement for a hive, of course. Yes, so I think he will be just be gearing up for Ultranisk, but I Ultranisk don't kill battle cruisers. <laughs> That's, That's the true. problem, I think. They can kill everything else, but uh, they are going to get killed really hard by the battle cruisers. Yeah. Oh, here are the missiles again. Yeah, you should just go for the mineral line or snipe that one. Yeah, because missile. you're not gonna get this planetary. Even if you get the planetary, you got the planetary. It's not really. There's another one. <laughs> yeah, there's another one. <laughs> like you said, there's another one. Yeah, but you know the amount of missile turrets is getting pretty intimidating. I don't think he can keep doing these mutilisk attacks. And I mean, look at look at the beauty of these missile turrets over here at the fourth. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I think he's safe for mutilisk there. Six missile turrets. Uh huh. Will be enough. Alanushka is mining gas from. Uh, he's going up to 10 gases now. That's a lot of gas. Yeah. And he needs it too. That's a lot of mutas too. Because he, he can't spend his mineral bank, or unless he maxes out on Zerknis or something, but mm -hmm. he he's starving on gas still. But he, it will be better now. If you take a look at the upgrades, it's a uh, melee level 2. And oh, he's going for the fourth base. Oh god, there we but go. But he's losing a lot. Oh wow. And now he's going to kill Mr. C. Oh, he gets one, but he lost like six Mutalisker. Uh. Just for one missile turret and I think one or two SCVs. It's not worth it. <laughs> this this uh, Battlecruise is following that SCV around, that's fine. <laughs> um, I think uh, Kuktrum was unstoppable. Mm, maybe. I think he I'm gonna... doesn't. You guys, everybody watching at home, copy this strat from Kuktomo. You can see like, it's it's a, a sure win. <laughs> he has eight battle cruisers, but there are so many mutilists, and they are so slow. Th there we go, Just, this is some SCVs yeah, dropping yeah, out. Yeah, this is what he will, but, should have done at the no, start. But at what cost? I mean, that was 18 SCVs killed on total, but that cost him a lot of mutilists. Yeah. What's he gonna build? What's Alanushka's unit choice? There we go. Uh, you're right. The um, uh, Ultralisk Cavern is uh, currently it's, being constructed. He's getting plus three, plus three for his Ultralisk, and uh, getting adrenaline glands for circlings. So he's building so an, an amazing ground army. 
Yeah, the, the whopper with this, it doesn't shoot up, so he maybe he's, needs to split it up or just kill everything before it gets shot down. Mm -hmm. And now Cooktormal is going for Ravens. <laughs> or at least Raven, because he's only one. So far, Raven. He's going for energy upgrade too. Very strong tech unit to complement the army. Yeah, but I think Alanuska has this. If he. If he plays this right. Because he has like half the map in bases. He's a. Yeah, he's scouting everyone. Taking another base in the bottom as well. But this That's a position yeah. that Kukton physically cannot get to. I mean, before he gets there, I mean, he leaves his base so wide open that. This is it's extremely but, safe. Alan is going to take uh, this. Battle cruisers do have the blink ability now. Oh god! Explain this ability to me and to the viewers. Um, I don't know exact name again, but you can basically go all over the map. You don't even need fish into the part you want to teleport to. And you can do this with any single battle cruiser. Yeah, and it every costs... battle cruiser has to be. It costs like hundred energy or something. It's very expensive, but it does work. Maybe oh, and he's at negative four base again, but I think he has so many missiles. The missile turrets don't even matter. This is just but him. But now the battle cruisers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh so many missiles shot down. Wow. Yeah, but this was just Alanuska clearing oh. supply because he's now building eight ultralisks. Yes. But still, still to go yeah. ultralisks. I yeah, I wonder how he will do this. He, I think he just wants to. Straight out against the bases, or something like that. The thing is, he has all his upgrades for the ultra, so the battle cruiser's basic attack won't do a lot of damage. Oh, this is awesome! Thank you, Loco, for oh. hosting us. Simon has just hosted us. Really cool. Awesome. For the people just tuning in, um, <laughs> oh, many new viewers. For the people just tuning in, welcome. Uh, these are Loco's previous viewers. Local great guy. <laughs> uh, what you're watching right now are the finals of the lower tier of the first edition of the Crafting Stars series. Crafting Stars series is going to be every two weeks. It's open to Dutch players. We're casting in English, and uh, we're playing in two different tiers. One is diamond and up, and the other is uh, bronze to platinum. And this is the finals of the bronze to platinum tier, the final game or the final match of today. Oh, and we're seeing uh, a mass battle cruiser <laughs> strategy versus upgraded ultralisks on the ground. <laughs> oh it. wow, so much damage. This is crazy. <laughs> but the ultras, I don't think they can do a lot here. They take out this base, but it was almost mined, mined out anyway. And they have... Like, they can only live for so long before the battle cruisers shoot them down. Yeah, exactly. And the amount of cannons do still a lot, do a lot of damage. Going off left and right. Okay, so this is one way, but Alanushka has all the rest of the map and all the minerals of the rest of the map. So you can now think of a second strategy, but I don't think... Ultralisks are the way to go. I mean, yeah, they, they stay alive quite a quite a quite a while. It takes say. so long to kill, but wow, he took out one mining base, which is good. But yeah, there were hardly any minerals I, left there, though. Like the good thing that Anuska did is that he uh, blocked the other base with creep, so now yep. he can't expand anymore. That's important, of course. Um, and he messed up our, another ground army already, he's almost Mexican, and he still has a big bank. Is it Ultralisk again? Yeah, he's a... Yes, Ultralisk and Zerglings with Adrenal Glands upgrade. And he has Infestors now too, and the thing is he researched Neuroparasite so he can ah. take over Battle Cruisers if he wants to. We haven't seen these Battle Cruisers blink yet, have we? No, not yet. Maybe I want we'll to now? See yes, there they go. There they go. Blink it! Oh, look at that! Right on top of above. But they defeated the other energy, so they can't do any more Yamato cannons. Ah, I was wondering where the Yamatos were. Of course, energy depleted. <laughs> yeah, like the blink of it costs so much energy. As it should. Oh, there we go, Neural Parasites. Now we see yes. Belagruz oh, fighting. Oh, he's taking over the Belagruzes. <laughs> fighting in with his own Belagruz. That's just amazing. Oh, wow, <laughs> he's taking them all over. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. This is just amazing. <laughs> if he neurals the uh, the ravens, he could even get a uh, hunter secret missiles off. But I don't think they would do too much against the battle cruisers. Yeah. Like, battle cruisers are just tickling them without the amount of cannons. It doesn't uh -huh. even matter. Huh. 
Okay, so I, I gotta say, I was wrong about Alanushka's strategy. I think uh, just clearing out the ground does enough. I mean, uh, sure, you got a fleet of Valakruz, but if I clear out all your buildings, I still win the game, right? And he still is mining for a bunch of bases, and he used the big bank still. And he's maxed out. Again. <laughs> like, he can just keep throwing this away at his bases and prediction until everything is gone, basically. Yep. He has to transfer some dry, right as I say it, drones get transferred. Alanushka is keeping this up, he's just throwing pounds, uh, pounds? Piles of minerals <laughs> and gas, basically, at his opponent, and Kuktomo can barely hold on. He has like one? Yeah. two landed planetaries, though, near, near, near soon-to-be planetaries, at the top of the map. Uh -huh. That yeah. has to be uh, dealt with by Alanushka, I think. Yeah, I didn't scout it yet, but I think he's going up there now. But the one thing that Kuktomo needs to do, and he's probably going to do now, is that he should lift up his buildings, go to the corner of the map, and trade out all his uh, army for his bases. Because he doesn't have an air army, and if he kills a spire and kills, starts killing the buildings and lifts off his buildings, he can win anyway. I see a question in the chat, someone asking if they can play, they are Belgian. Yes, this tournament is for Dutch-speaking players, so Belgians can also join in, and actually, uh, what we want to include is the, the Benelux community, basically. So we do allow exceptions to be made for players who don't speak Dutch, but who are firmly embedded in the Dutch or Benelux StarCraft community. So if you don't speak Dutch but still want to participate, just send an email to our admin. We can look at that on a case-by-case -case basis. And as we see this base being destroyed... Um, oh wow, the Terran Armada. My god, the <laughs> Armada is just pushing through. The, the bases at the top do get cleared out by Alanushka, though, so... Yeah, there's yeah. this fleet of Valakruz, it's hard to deal with, but if Alanushka moves... He is making moves, 10 investors. If Alanushka now just moves in and kills all of Kukomo's bases... Yeah, that's basically the thing. So... Yeah, but if Alanushka... He like, what Kukomo can do, he can just lift up, like go to the corner of the map, he can't do anything about it. <laughs> and that's the thing, and well, meanwhile Kukomo can kill everything. I thought Alanushka really had this game in the back, but... It's looking scary for him now. And he can always blink back there too because go. he has lots of energy at the moment. We see a huge train of over... I don't I don't think I've ever seen this many Ultralisk. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. That okay. train. It's like <laughs> lemmings. Alright, here come the lemmings, guys. Except they're not going to walk off a cliff, they're going to kill your base. Uh, yes, another question in the chat. This stream will always be in English. So uh, whether or not the players are Dutch, the stream is going to be in English. We yes, love our international English. viewers. He's uh, going up the ramp now to the base, but he already left up one factory, that's what, all he needs. Why not lift <laughs> up everything else too, right? I don't know, but the, one factory is all one that he needs for this. Need. <laughs> okay, okay, is this, is this what it's gonna come down to? So one factory floating with the army. <laughs> this is so... This and there goes starboard. He's gonna win this, holy shit. Wow. And he's still killing, he's killing the mining base, like... Anushka still has his bank, but he can't make anything anymore because he doesn't have his produ producing structures and he doesn't have enough overlords. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is it, man. The building's floating. <laughs> these ultralists are like, oh, we're the best ground unit ever, but we can't you know, do anything about these floating units, uh, buildings. And there it goes, the other base that he made. He tried to build his next structures, but... It's <laughs> <laughs> all being revealed. Sure. Yeah, you can be re revealed all you want, but... Yeah, you can know where my buildings are. You can't neural parasite my factory. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's starting to like sink in. Like, the one thing you can do is maybe intercept them with... Nerf. Infested Terrans, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Infested Terrans, yeah, sure, they, they evaporate to, of course, the, the fire from the... Uh, okay, it's true that there are no more scans available for, but there's many ravens, of course, yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is over. This I is think Quick Rumble just has this. Holy shit. Alnushka really throwed it Did away. It. <laughs> Guys, wow. everything's possible in the Crafting Star series. I love the finals of this, uh, the bronze to platinum tier. This crazy game. Of course, every time you play in the Crafting Star series, you get points towards the general ranking. At the end of the year, the top players. We don't know exactly how many of the top players yet, but. Players in the top, some of them will get invitations to the DSL Open, which of course we'll have later this year. But until then, it's every two weeks, Crafting Star Series, join up if you're Dutch. 
Oh, there are three more buildings left. And that's GG. And GG, wow. <laughs> Great game. <laughs> Congratulations to T.